tough loss for our guys. Feel bad for them. Battled the whole way, put themselves in position to win, and just didn't make enough plays when it mattered. They made a couple. They were fortunate. We had a couple misfortunes, and they won the game. But we, we battled back three different times from the dead. It says a lot about our guys. It's just an uh, unfortunate ending. Don't be afraid. The you, when you battled back to tie it at half, I mean, and then you had a little. I think they took an eleven-point lead in the early in the second half. What, what do you think happened during that span? You know, I thought about starting dog. You know, to start the second half, just because we battled back. But you got to have faith in your people. It sends a bad message. You know, those guys have been with us all year. They they played well, but it was a little deflating. I mean, but I give our guys a lot of credit. They never quit, you know, and had it not been for a player or two, they win the game. Made some big plays when it mattered. Antono Jackson made a couple of really huge plays, and, you know, the ball just didn't bounce our way. You know, we, you know, we just didn't score around the rim on the one play, which probably wins us the game. And then they, you know, they were very fortunate. They took a terrible shot. And we didn't rebound it, and then they hit the three ball on us, which was probably the biggest play of the game. That big dog had right underneath the basket there. Close yeah, to the I'm referring to the, that, and then Bearden's bad shots that barely hit the rim that we didn't rebound, and then they made a three. That was, those were two big plays in my mind. Had we got to stop there, we probably win the game, and then had we finished finished that, that changes the complexion of the game also. It was a bad foul, you know, it was, we didn't tell him a foul. We, in his head, he probably knew we had two to give, but by, a lot, by fouling on that, it allows them to get the last shot of the game, which really hurt us. But that's a tough one. Hayden Grove, Associated Press. Um, with Big Dog, you said you wanted to start him in the second half, but he just didn't seem as effective. Was that something that you personally wanted to go away from, or is that something just that, the, the game dictated? No, nah, he was effective. I mean, look at, we knew it was going to be hard for him three days in a row. You know, the best team doesn't necessarily win the, the tournament. It's the team that plays the three best games in a row, really. And so we were a little bit shorthanded because he, he had to play a lot of minutes tonight. And for us to win, he had to be out there. And he went three days in a row. So he might not have had as much juice as he normally has, but he still competed at a very high level. And we couldn't have been anywhere near where we were without him. So, you know, it's just a decision. He still played 31 minutes, which is a lot, you know, in a thir third day of a three-game tournament. Coach, they seem to get a lot of those offensive boards. Did you stress that any more than you usually do at halftime to your players? Look, we're, we're at a little bit disadvantage because we're playing a little bit smaller. You know, I, I think had we been a little bit bigger, they don't get quite as many. But... They scrap. That's what they do. They throw it up there and try to go get it, you know. And then the one that hurt us was the one we didn't get at the end. That's all. But we tried our hardest. Keith, Massenburg hurt you the, the second time you met him over at the jar. I think he scored 20, 22. He went off again tonight. Just a quick comment of trying to stop him uh, or try and slow him down, in the, in, especially in the first half. Well, he had 15 at halftime, right? So we did a good job the second half. He had a roll in a little bit. I mean, they're a, they're a below average three-point shooting team that shot it well in this tournament, really. I mean, you look at the numbers, they don't lie throughout the season. They shot it well. They shot 10 for 28 tonight, which is 35, which is OK. That's about where they shoot it. Um, we did enough things to win. We just, we just weren't consistent throughout the game, really. We, we, we had some good spurts and enough spurts to win the game. We just didn't finish it. Do you think some of those lulls are confidence ebbs and flows, maybe? Um. No, I don't. I mean, you know, everybody made a big deal about us not shooting the ball very well, but we shot 53% yesterday and 38% from the three line. I think that's shooting the ball pretty good. I think people get spoiled because we didn't make 16 or 19 or 20. But we still made 13 tonight. 13 for 33 is 39.4%. Now, you may say that's not very good, but it is. 
that's good three-point shooting. If you're above 35 percent, it's worth shooting it. So it's not as good as we have shot it. But I think that's the problem with our team. The expectation level becomes such that people all of a sudden think that we're not playing at a high level, where in reality, we played at a high level all three games. We played great defense for three games. Simple as that. You look at the numbers, they don't lie. So did a good job of keeping them out of paint. You know, we just didn't have enough juice to finish the game. Uh, uncharacteristic for you to 12 turnovers in, in in a game like that and then a couple of them just came seemed to come just when you were getting ready to make a huge run uh che cheatham had one i think and we made Anthony. 12 12 is not a lot i mean we no it's what not we a lot it, but i don't i don't think we made some mistakes but i think that's tiredness you know they made 15. 12 is a lot for us i mean not really i mean i think we averaged 10 maybe or 11. i don't know what the numbers are but we made a few mistakes when it mattered. I thought we were a little tired. I, I thought the one stretch where they went ahead, we were really tired. And, uh, you know, we just couldn't get into our bench very much. Aaron Jackson's beat to hell. You know, he just separated it again, I think. But you got to give him a lot of credit. And we didn't play Jamon very much. So all of a sudden, we're playing guys a lot of minutes, which still had it. Still had the game one. You know, we just were one play away from winning the game, which. You know, they had to throw two bombs in to beat us, really, so. Hey, Coach, you said fatigue was a factor um, tonight. With the change in the tournament structure again this year to have to play three times in three days, um, do you feel like, you know, having to play the three games was one of the big factors in Buffalo pulling this out here? And, and just give a thought overall on, on going back to that format with the three games in a row. No, I don't think that's the reason they won. I mean, look, we played them three times. Every game was the same. Went down to the last four minutes every game. We won the last two. They won this one. And we were in position to win this one, too. So, I mean, both teams have to play with the format. So why even think about it? I don't, I don't ever think about it. Do you th still have hopes for an at-large bid? or? Well, we should. We went into the game as a 28 RPI. But I don't know. Nobody talks about us, so including Elton, right? He he didn't talk about us. He, so the, the, I mean, nobody's talked about us, right? We, we got 28 RPI. I mean, what the hell? The numbers don't lie, do they? I mean, now all of a sudden, for the big boys' sake, they use the BPI and the Ken Palm. I don't know what that means. All it means is you're playing faster, or you're good on offense, or you're good on defense. It's all skewed for the big boys. So if, uh, if Cincinnati or Tulsa or or uh, UConn had a 28 RPI, I think they'd be in the tournament. But we're not going to get in the tournament. I mean, I don't want to sound negative, but I've never seen it yet. The only guy that said anything was Seth uh, Davis, and he didn't have us in. So, you know, those guys know everything. All right. Thank you.